What's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, we are doing something a little bit different. Another garage update upgrade. We are installing our own wall mounted pressure wash solution. So just sit back, relax and enjoy. <laughs> Let me explain what idea and what I'm going to be doing because this is something obviously super weird and super random, but I am installing a custom wall mounted pressure washer solution. These are the things that like you find out on the internet and you're like, okay, I want to do this because you guys know the way I am with my garage. Everything has to be clean, neat, and the way it should be correct. I'm a little bit crazy when it comes to organization, but this is something that I just learned and figured out you could do. But we're going to be wall mounting our pressure washer with a reel for the pressure washer. And we are going to install like water, like our hose bibs here. So one for our buckets to fill out the buckets and one for our pressure washer. I know it's kind of confusing, but you guys are going to see it in the thumbnail and understand what I mean. This is going to be so, so cool because because when we're going to wash the Evos, I can have literally an instant pressure washer solution. Like I'm just gonna pull the hose, press on with this car shirt pressure washer, and I'm going to be good to go. I don't know, I'll explain it as we finish it. This is gonna be a couple of days. This is not gonna be all done at once in the one day. Today, what we are going to be doing is installing a stainless steel shelf that I bought for the pressure washer so we can mount the pressure washer against the wall so we know where we're going to install our hose bib. So when the plumber comes in, we could tell him exactly where we want the first hose bib and then the second one to fill our buckets. Follow me here, follow me here. You guys will see the finished result and I think a lot of you guys will actually like this. Just like that, the stainless steel shelf is installed. I'm gonna leave this protector on since we do have to install the hose bib here. It's gonna make a mess, so I'll remove this at the end. But this is kind of the idea. So stainless steel shelf, the pressure washer is on the shelf, it's gonna be wall mounted. This is what wall mounted solution is considered. We'll install a hose bib here. So this stainless steel hose right here will connect to the hose bib. And I'm going to run an electric outlet right here and put it right here. And then we'll connect this pressure washer right here. And we're gonna get a reel. So basically, you know, turn it on and we're gonna have instant, like we're gonna have the hose reel, we're gonna have the pressure washer instantly. So I could just wash the car instantly and I have to take the pressure washer out, connect the hose, connect the hose here, connect the other hose to here. Like everything's gonna be set up and ready for me to go so I could just literally use this to clean the cars instantly. So something that's obviously not necessary, but I think it's gonna look so, so cool. And I'm honestly enjoying this and it's gonna be very convenient to when I get to washing the cars. Again, there's gonna be a couple of days in the works. Tomorrow the plumber's going to come. He's going to install the two hose bibs, one for the pressure washer and one for the buckets. So I can fill the buckets right here. And I have to go again all the way across the house to fill the buckets. It's just, it makes it really, really convenient. So I'll catch you guys there and then we'll get to the Cox reels, the hose and everything I'm gonna get. And again, I'm going to link everything down in the description. So if you guys are interested in creating something like this, you guys could do that with the links in the description. It's been a while since I last grabbed the camera for the wall mounted pressure washer solution. I have an update, let me show you guys. So we already had a plumber come in and install two water hose bibs on the wall inside the garage, which was kind of like a hassle because the water connection ran all the way to the back of the house. So he had to run tubing all the way across and then here to the side of the garage. But we have running water here and we also will have running water over here. So that's perfect. This is where the stainless steel hose is gonna connect to the pressure washer. And then we're gonna have the hose reel and then this is gonna be our bucket fillers. And then we're gonna have our buckets here so we can fill the buckets with water, soap or whatever the case might be. Everything's gonna be here on the go, on the fly, instead of me having to go across the house, 
get the heavy hose, bring it over here, connect the pressure washer, put it on the floor. Like it was just, it was more of an annoyance than an enjoyment. Like I honestly used to like not even use the pressure washer, not even use the snow foam cannon because it was so annoying getting the pressure washer out removing the connections, connecting here, connecting there. So, so now that we're gonna have all of this set up here on the go, it's just convenient, honestly. Again, like I said, this is more of like a leisure. This is not something you have to do, but I really enjoy making my garage as nice as possible. And I think this addition is gonna be super, super nice. So now that you guys are updated on the water hose and the plumber coming in, I couldn't record none of that. I felt a little bit awkward recording, but you guys get the idea. We have water here inside the garage, which is awesome. Now we have received from Obsessed Garage our Cox Reel, which this piece is insane. This is where we are going to put our new pressure washer hose, which this is from NTM Hydro. It's a Cobra Jet 4000 PSI pressure washer hose, which is the one that Matt from Obsessed Garage recommends. And honestly, everything that he recommends has worked for me tremendously. So Cox Reel for our pressure washer. I even got the stainless steel swivel which is again, a little bit expensive. I am going to link everything down below and I am going to link something that's a little bit cheaper. The blue one comes with a brass swivel, which I think it's a hundred bucks cheaper, but man, you guys know how I am. Everything has to be white, black, and gray. So I wanted it in black and this yellow color is gonna change soon. So we'll do that later on. But let me show you guys this piece because honestly, it's just so nice. <laughs> So the Cox reel is installed. What I ended up using was some Tapcon concrete uh, screws with some big washers on both sides, as you can see. Now, what we have to do is connect the great Cobra Jet hose, reel it in, and as you can see, it works fantastically the way it should. Um, so let's go ahead and connect the Cobra Jet hose, connect this jumper hose to the pressure washer, and see how everything turns out. And just like that, we were able to take the cover of the pressure washer off. It's only four bolts, one on the bottom here, one on the bottom on this side, and then the two on the top here, you can see on the cartridge, this is the top one. And then these are the bottom ones, just four screws. Just take them out and you'll be able to take this part off. Now, what we are going to use to paint this cover is gonna be, believe it or not, some gray Plasti Dip. I did not wanna actually paint this cover because this pressure washer, reason why I even went with this pressure washer, one, is very economic, super cheap, 100 bucks. You could get this pressure washer. I'll link it down below. Two, and very important, it comes with a three-year, a whopping three-year warranty which is insane for a pressure washer. So this is for sure gonna last me for three years. If it gives me any issues whatsoever, we just call up Karsher, they'll replace it for a new unit and we're good to go. Now, if I was to paint this and it's no longer yellow, I can guarantee you they're gonna be like, nope, you took it apart. We're not gonna put it under warranty and I am not gonna be able to get a new unit if something was to happen with the unit. So with Plasti Dip, a lot of you guys know, you paint and you could literally just peel off the paint after you're done. So if this unit was to ever go bad, I will just peel off the gray and go back to yellow.
I do finish this video out, I do want to go over everything you need to make this yourself. I am going to link everything down below so you guys could purchase it. If you guys do purchase it with the links that I'm providing, it does help the channel out and it does help me out just so you guys know. So stainless steel line on Amazon, it was like eight or nine bucks, super cheap. Hose bibs, obviously this you will have to do with your plumber or if you do know how to do plumbing yourself, dude, do it. You will save a lot of money. I honestly wish I would have done it. Once I saw what they did, it was so simple, but I just thought it was super complicated. But anyways, hose bibs up and down. Another stainless steel line. I used the, the same one because honestly, it's pretty flexible. Like this is super, super flexible. And then the ultimate nozzle, I will link everything down below again. Cartridge pressure washer, I plastic dipped it. Honestly, I didn't like the way it came out. It didn't come out like perfect. I hate, hate plastic dip, but this will do for now. Again, the point of plastic dip is this does have a warranty. So if I have to peel this paint off, I'm literally just gonna grab it in a corner and start peeling this paint and then send it back to Karcher. Jumper hose from Obsessed Garage, uh, stainless steel fittings. I am going to put everything down in the description just so you guys have everything. Uh, Cox Reel, this was a very expensive unit. The fact that it's black and it's not blue makes everything pop so much better. I freaking love it. I got this pressure washer hose from MTM. Uh, reason I got it from MTM and not Obsessed Garage. Obsessed Garage only has the blue one. And again, I wanted this kind of gray and black vibe that I've been going for in the garage. Everything's like black, gray, and white. And then we have their pressure washer gun from Obsessed Garage and the MTM nos nozzles with a stainless steel fitting on the top. They do sell a gun that swivels that is amazing, but again, it's a little bit more money. I'm gonna link that one too, just in case you guys want the swiveling action. It's so much easier but this is it now let's go ahead put it to use wash the evo which is disgusting as you guys can see i went to orlando haven't even washed it at all and just like that we are going to end the video if this video was helpful it will mean the world to me if you could drop a like on this video like always keep grinding i'll see you guys on the next one take care